I think I'm live. I just have to kind of play with uh, Facebook here and see where I'm at. Am I here? Can you hear me? I'm just going to click on to there. There I can see the comments. I am live. Can you hear me? Oh, there's a real delay on this. So I'm going to have to figure that out. And I can't figure out how to get this box off my face. That is another day challenge. The technology gods didn't love me perfectly. Hi, Sandy. How are you? I hope you're great and out of Koken. Hi, Alexander from Sydney, Australia. Glad you could join me. Hey, Stephen. How's it down there in Alberta? So if any of you know how to shut that box off at some point, you can send me a message and then I can uh, shut it off. So you can hear me? Can you? Because I'm not listening to me. Okay, excellent. I'm going to just assume that uh, you can hear me and uh, there's a little bit of a delay, which is kind of interesting to get used to. And I thought we would get right to painting. You can see I've got my painting area set up here. Um, I've got my iPad with the image. You won't be able to see that, but in a second you'll be able to see the image right here. Um, and my microphone and my little setup for my first live stream. Okay, we're just going to continue on here. So what I've done with this, you can see that I've got an image right here that you can see, but I can't point to because it's on the screen. I've gridded my board so that um, it'll be easier for me to draw the image on. And we're going to get right to it. I'm only going to be doing this for an hour. So I got my little alarm on to tell me that. And let's get drawing the uh, the ptarmigan onto the board. So this is a MDF board. It's got a hanger on the back, um, and it's nice and smooth and flat. So I'm just going to start with just putting the bird in place. I'm not worried about perfection here because this is just the beginning. I'm going to try and keep track of what you're saying, but this is like a whole nother level of skills. So I'm going to work on that. Okay, move everything out of the way. So get the little beak in place, the idea of where I want it to be. I'm uh, coming down here. I'm looking at the shapes. This will all be corrected if I don't have the shapes perfect when I'm drawing it. I just want to get it in place. And I'm thinking about where I, where it's coming. And I'm going to clean it up. So the little tail is just a small little tail because, of course, we're looking at it from a different angle. I'm going to come around here. We're going to come here and up here and we're going to come down here and straight over and back. I love the shape of ptarmigans. They're just cute little round things and they come in the fall and they leave in the spring and all winter long we just enjoy enjoy them hanging around making their little clucking sounds amazes me how they can survive in such cold temperatures, but 
Okay, I'm just going to clean that up a bit. I got a little bit of. I'm going to kind of place the eye where I think it is in relation to um, right here. It's about there. The eye is right there, and the beak is here, and I'll correct that better when I get to that point. Now, let's um, work on the feet. Trying not to get them too big because that's so easy to do. Um, yeah. We're just putting, putting things in place so that we can come back and correct and we have something to compare to. Because right now, um, we have really very little to compare to. I have uh, used watercolor pencil to draw my grid in and it will just disappear. In fact, if I come over here and put a little bit of water on and just scrub it, it just comes right off. Now, the thing that really attracted me to this, to this image was all of the, 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 um, track here that's that is there like the the road track i just thought that was so interesting interesting shapes was created so i'm going to just draw in where i'm seeing the shapes and i'm going to come here and i'm hoping i can keep talking cuz sometimes when you you get concentrating in painting um you forget what you're actually supposed to be doing which is like letting you go guys know what I'm thinking about and how I'm approaching things so I'm thinking about the angle here I don't have that angle enough so I'm just going to clean up that paint which just helps me to see that angle better and I've got this way too fat so I'm going to just clean that up a little bit more Now I haven't done much painting in front of people, even though I'm in my studio, I am where you guys are there. Hi Darren, so glad that you could join. That's awesome. I got, I saw all the pictures from, um, for the Gumbird Challenge and I saw the little chart and I shared it with my group. Right now I'm doing, um, with a group of four women, we're part of the Gumbird Challenge for a fundraiser for the um, in inclusion organization, Yellow Life Inclusion, and Darren is part of that, and we've been sh talking back and forth and sharing pictures and having fun with that. It's been really, really cold this April, so um, we're not really seeing a whole lot of uh, birds. They're just starting to come. Hopefully it'll warm up. April has been quite well, it's been April. April is kind of like that. So I'm coming in. I'm going to put the sort of darker color here so that I can see that I'm getting that angle correct of the shadow of, of the, um, of the snowbank. I'm using a Princeton Dakota 6300F flat uh, number two brush. It is a really scrubby brush, so it lets me move the paint around with great ease. And uh, yeah. So I so that's the brush that I'm using to draw the lines, and I'm using just raw umber paint. And just to erase it, I clean my brush off. I dry it off with with the uh, paper towel. And then I can come in and move it off, move the paint around before it dries. Once it starts to dry, you're really, you're kind of, it's there. But we're going to paint over it and it's acrylic, so I'm not worried about it. So I'm going to come over here and thinking about the angle and the shapes and it comes right up to the, the bird. I'm just trying to get that idea of where the cash, the shadow is on this snow, little snowbank. 
So the day I was out taking pictures on this day, it was like minus 22 outside. And I just stood at the back of the car because if you get close to the car, well, I mean, these birds are pretty used to humans. So, so we just, you know, they don't really, they'll fly away a little bit, but they won't go very far. And if you stay still, they just hang around. Okay, so let's get the cast shadow in on the bird. Oops, I need more water. So I'm thinning out the ultra, the burnt umber. Hey, Jerry, welcome. I don't know how far I'll get today because I'm only gonna stream for an hour. So, you know, that just means I'll get done what I get done, which I think is long enough. So this is the cast shadow of the bird, of the ptarmigan. You can see it has interesting little shapes in it. So let's get those shapes in place. Make it big enough. It's not quite big enough. My plan is to do this every week on Thursday, but next week it will be on Tuesday because I've had something come up for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday next week that I was not planned. But there you go. Life is like that. So I'll be back next Tuesday. We'll get as far as we can today. And then we'll come back and play. Okay. Um, now I'm, what I really found interesting was all these tire tracks. And they're kind of fun. So I'm just going to place them in their angle here. Thinking about the fact that they're pretty straight. They're not crooked. I've got too much. If you get too much paint, you can just come in and take some of it away with a thirsty brush. I, al I also plan to do watercolor paintings, flowers, um, on this. But I have a little bit of figuring out to do to make sure that the camera's in the right angle so my hands aren't upside down. But that's another day. Right now I got this figured out and I'm happy. Okay, so we have some interesting angles here. So I'm spending my time looking back and forth between the image, which you can't see, but that's how I'm um, choosing what my angles are. I'm looking and, and thinking about where they are. Oh, I got that one too angled. There we go. That's better. Of course, this is, can we all be corrected with the paint in a little bit when I start to cover it over? So this morning it was a whopping minus 10. So what's the temperature where you live? <laughs> Somebody's got to be warmer than our minus 10. And another track. And then we have this interesting shape this way and here and and here. Oh, let me it has to come up a little bit because we're at an angle. And then we've got this angle here. The grid helps me to see the angles a little bit better. I have something to compare against. Uh, yeah, and it just helps with accuracy. I'm uh, thinking I need to come down a little bit further here. Okay, and then, yeah, that's better. And now this shape here, there's, there's lots of different shapes in there. I'm not going to be worried about them as much, but I'm going to Take this one here, because that seems a good anchor line. And across here. Okay, no, down a little further. And it's going to go right through, because it goes right through. Clean my brush, dry it off, remove the paint before it has a chance to dry, because I don't want that shape there. Though it doesn't really matter because I'm going to paint over it anyway. This is just to get my 
my eyes knowing what I, my, you know, my eyes and my hands working together. There's another little one here. Okay. So we've got, oh, no, back here. So we've got our shapes in. We've uh, decided, you know, that we'll focus in on this later. So I've got my shapes in. I'm happy with where things are mostly at. Now what I'm going to do is come in and start from the back and work my way forward. And I'm going to um, start with the, that blue that you see in the background. Now these, these colors... Oops, I'm going to need a bigger brush. Let's get a bigger brush. One oh, that's a little easier to manage. Um, here. So my next brush that I'm going to work with is a three-quarter, three-eighths of an inch rosemary ivory dagger. I love these brushes. They, you can cover over a large area fairly quickly. Add some water to that to move it a little bit more. Take some of that and bring it down a little bit more. Bring that chroma down because I don't want it to be in competition with what's happening out front. So this, just putting in um, the first layer is just to block it in and start to see if you can get your values correct. And I'm choosing here to make this value um, it's going to be darker than it is on the image because I don't really want that to be attention grabbing. What I want attention grabbing is, is the bird and these highlights. And I'm actually going to play with adding a little bit of warmer colors. Um, you would say a, a little bit of yellow and a little bit of a pale, pale pink to the, to the, um, highlights because the sun was a beautiful golden yellow it was low on the horizon when I was out because it was early in the morning and I'm not sure if I'm going to focus in on those um... hi Patricia hi Patty sold <laughs> the, the painting will be put on auction after it's all finished um, at uh, later but and I will put a thing out for uh, link out for it when I get it figured out because this is all new learning okay so I've done that let's get that darker blue in place and I want it to be I'm going to get this darker blue in place here and you want variation because, of course, nothing is very, snow has got all sorts of things happening in it. We'll lighten that up a little bit to come up to the back side of it, of this shape. Okay, and we're going to build this shape up a little bit. Right, grab some of that darker color and bring it across. We're going to go over the bird because we want the background to be on the back. We'll, we'll cover, we'll fix that when we cover it, but we want to go towards the bird. It's kind of interesting watching my, my feed is a little bit behind where I'm at. That's kind of interesting. And I'm really hoping this is going on to YouTube too because that was the plan. But we'll wait and see because I'm not actually following YouTube. I'm, yeah. Okay, so now let's look at that front. The front blue that has all the little variations with the lights and the little cast shadows. I'm thinking about how the snow is moving. 
So this part here is moving straight and at an angle. When I get over here, it's I'm going to move the snow this direction. I'm going to move the paint this direction to keep up with it. Okay. It's surprising how much color is in snow. Okay, and this here. So this first layer is just to lay in and and get the values as close as I can because of course I'm, I'm not worried about per perfect values now. I'll have something to compare against when I get this all in place. That's too dark. So let's lighten that up a bit. Okay, there we go. And this one comes again. The snow is coming straight across. And then we're going to come down here. So the colors are very blue because most of the planes are uh, being reflecting back this the sky color and it was a beautiful clear day that day. I'm so glad you guys could all join me for my very first feed. This is you know, it's awesome. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Okay, so now we're coming into that cast shadow of the bird. So I'm going to darken that one up because I want it to be darker. Now, in the cast shadow, if you look at the image, you can actually see that you can. there are variations in there. It's not just a shadow that's deep dark. It has hints of light still coming in and we will uh, we will explore that when we get to the final thing uh, final pass which is like pass number three right now we're just on pass number one which is just getting everything put in place here so that we have an idea of what we're looking at and where we're going okay and come around here and we'll get the shapes better. Okay, let's get that front. I'm going to lighten up the front because I want it to be more, um, more noticeable, like it's coming forward. We're coming closer. And I might have to lighten up other stuff there, but again, I'm going over that, that bird because I want that to be lighter yet. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay. Um, thinking about here, you know, this is really interesting. This area here has, um, has the, the light coming off of the ptarmigan. And so it's actually quite a bit lighter in this corner here. So I'm going to make it lighter right from the get-go here so that we remember. And it's almost like it has hints of the yellow in there. So we'll, we'll get that in there when we get to that point. And it darkens up a little bit. Oh, spritz my... I work in acrylic, so I, I spritz my... my um, acrylic regularly to keep it fresh so it doesn't dry too fast. I did turn off the heat so that it also doesn't dry fast. Okay, bring that down here. Okay, we have a little bit of dark here. So let's get this. I try not to put detail in, but we'll just put this little bit of information in. 
At this point, that's why I'm using the big brush. So I don't want to put detail in. I just want to... Hey, Rosemary. Welcome. I'm so glad to see you. Well, at least see your typing anyway. Okay. So now we're coming around to this back. And then we will come back. Oh, I guess it's over here. Come to this back. And we will... Uh, yeah, we're going to darken that a little bit because I don't want it to be. Yeah, there we go. Get that going. I am so glad that te technology has worked for me. Let's shut off that other camera and I'll turn it back on at the end. Okay. Okay, so now we have these lighter areas. So let's get them as light as we can get them without being white because there really is no, uh, there's a little bit of white, but I want to add that on right at the very, very end. I don't want it to be the, like that's the highlights. And so we want everything to fit together nicely. Oh, thanks, Rosemary. That's, that's lovely. Thank you for your lovely comment. I'm trying to read at the same time as doing this, and that's like a whole nother level of skills being learned here. I like learning new things. So, Rosemary, where are you from? I know where Patty is. She's in BC, and I bet you the temperature there is much nicer than here. And what do you have blooming in your area, Patty? Okay, so I have, I'm going to come in, and what I need to do every once in a while is make sure I don't have any ridges. So I will clean my brush dry it off with the, the, and just bring and make sure that I don't get any ridges because I paint fairly smoothly and I don't want to have any dry paint that is um, standing out and catching the light weirdly. Okay. Okay. Do you think we can go on to the bird now? We kind of got that background done enough. Oh, I guess we missed an area here. We'll just light, put that in place. Put that here. There, we'll get that in place. Hey, Cynthia. It's nice to see you here. I was uh, wondering what the temperature is down in your area of the world. I didn't look today. Plus 13. Oh my goodness. A bit of a cloud. Plus 17 and magnolias. Oh, I love magnolias. Ooh, that'll be one, one I paint when it gets to that point. My uh, other f camera is powering off because I... I'm not sure what that meant. Okay, I'm going to try and get that off. <laughs> I guess I can't shut that off. I lost my plug-in for my... Uh... That's funny. Huh. Okay. Is it going to go away? Let's see. I lost my plug-in. I don't know where I put it for my uh, little camera. And so I'm trying to reserve battery power because I had to order a new one. Let's see. Oh, here. That's what's happening. It's the wrong one. Okay. Are you working? Okay. Back, okay. Sorry, that was, I, one camera dies at uh, 
about 29 minutes and, and I thought I heard it go off, but I didn't hear it go off. So anyway, I thought I would hear it go off. Hmm. I'll have to set my alarm next time. So let's come in with the bird. Again, I'm still using my big brush. I'm uh, thinking about, it's the lighter area, so I'm gonna put the lighter color in here. Come down. Okay. Oh, it's only one little glitch. So maybe that's a flower I could paint when I paint my flowers, is paint the magnolia flowers. What else? Your entire garden is in bloom. Oh, so lovely. It means spring has sprung someplace because it certainly hasn't sprung here. So the next, so the, 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 the shape of the ptarmigan is round. So I'm going to come in with a slightly darker, well, maybe a little too dark. Just lighten that up a, bit, a little bit. I'm going to blend them together here by just cleaning up my brush and moving the paint around. So we're going to come into the, um, yeah, I thought I would hear that clicking and I didn't hear it. How weird. Get the shadow part. Woo, that is like really too dark. This is only the first layer and then we can lighten things up as we go along. And I'm gonna bring it down. I'm gonna bring in this brush to clean up the edge a little bit. And scrub it down, move that paint around. Okay, I'm bringing a little bit lighter here. I can see that there is a little reflected light right at the base of the, the belly. And so I'm going to just create an illusion of that without really worrying about it too much right now because, because we will be uh, putting another layer on. This is just to give us some information to work against. Okay. So that is a, a pretty hard edge. I can soften it a bit. I'll just use my finger to do that. Sometimes that's the best tool. I'm going to move to a smaller um, quarter inch rosemary and ivory company. I'll put that on at the end. Okay. I'm happy with that. So let's get the feet in place. So we've got the feet. <laughs> oh, yes. There's a lot of little balls in the air when you're doing a live stream. I had no idea. It took me quite a while to just get the technology to read the cameras. It was interesting. Just puzzled it out, puzzled it out. I'll put a little bit of that dark in there. So there's a little bit of a cast shadow here on the on the legs of the of the the feet of the ptarmigan. So I'm just going to put that in place. You know, uh, let's get the head going here. Let's get that head going. Let me come with a smaller brush, a little smaller so I can manage it better. Shape it in. Um, add a little bit of the of the, the light, the sh shade side of the bird. Yeah, I got the beak way too big, but that's part of the process. That's part of the 
making decisions as I go along. Thanks, Patty, for for uh, for being here today and for being part of my cheering squad. I'm looking forward to when you can come up to Yellowknife again and visit. Or we, we can all travel and do things. That will be quite the day, I'll tell you. Okay. So I'm going to stand back a little bit here and play around and see where we're at. And then we can just get on to the second layer. We have about 28 minutes left in the live stream and then um, I will uh, okay so let's get this shape in so we have an eye and we have a beak and the beak is going to be a little less sizable than it is right now but that's all right Thin it out a little bit because it's not very big and certainly not doesn't have that level of just move that paint around I'm not worried about perfection at this point because I said it's just the first layer so let's go and we'll start with the background again and we will work our way forward again on the snow to do a second pass to start to put in some of the, these, these shapes. And I think I'm gonna decide that I don't really want this to be noticeable. I'm gonna leave this fairly flat, like low value shifts. I don't wanna to have too much value change in them. Just, so is that, yeah, that's, that's good, right there. Is a, what I want for the cast shadows. Okay, so somebody's home because I just put, uh, I put shh, where uh, I'm recording down here. So I just heard Ian come through the door nice and quietly. So hopefully you guys didn't hear it. Okay, that's too gray. Let's get more blue in there. But I don't want it to be catching attention. So I'm Trying to push it back a little bit by making it a little bit bluer yet. So I'm trying to bring the color up without changing the value too much. And I got the value down a little bit too much. So I'm just going to keep lightening it up till I match it back up. Oh, I think that's good. It can just hide away in the background and not be where we're putting our eyes and our attention. Hi, Kelly. Welcome. It was so great to see you last night. I haven't seen you in ages, so that was lovely. Okay. And thanks to Ian for uh, his comment. Well, this is the fast part. This part is the fast part. I'm not really worried about details. I'm just focusing in on, on just getting the values right and getting the shapes more correct. The, the next level, the level three, when we, when we get to it, and we won't get to that today, will be, um, that's the painstaking, slow le look and, and moving along and, and shifting along as you're going. So the first two passes go fairly quickly and then they just take forever after that because then you're looking at shapes and you're trying to make sure you get your shapes correct and you get all this information in there. There's lots of information um, being, because the light bounces around and does all sorts of great things, but I wanna cover everything over and make sure that I've got those values right, right up to, there's a cast shadow here on this one. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. There we go. We're coming along here. Getting the paint to cover it more, which is really important. And I've got a cast shadow here that goes along there. And a little bit here more, I can see. Hi, Joy. Welcome. This is, you know, kind of interesting. This is acrylic, actually. I, I was just saying earlier that I do plan to do watercolor, but I have to figure out how to get the camera positioned so my hands aren't upside down. And I just haven't had time. So I'm going to start with acrylic because that was the easiest one to start with and work my way over to the more challenging one. And I think what I'm going to do is put a a request out to you guys to see which flower you want me to paint and see if I have images of them or, or uh, maybe I'll do a little um, oh I don't know what you call it right now um, where I ask you a little survey that's what I'm looking for a little survey see what you guys think and what you would like me to paint next when I get I'll give you options okay I'm seeing a little bit of dabbled light in there. Okay, I'm going to stop doing this. Yeah, yeah I don't want to do the, uh, the details yet. I just, I'm starting to just build it up a little bit. But I want that edge not to be hard because there's no hard edges in snow. It's all, you know, it's all soft and snow-like. Okay, so let's just soften those edges. Okay, now let's just move forward. We'll do the next layer on the on the front part. Now I'm looking and I'm seeing that if I compare it to the dark, well yeah it's gonna have some light in there and we're just gonna we'll get those at the third level. We're gonna Let's get a little bit of that dark in here, just so that we keep that, that idea of that angle. And it comes down here. And it's interesting how it moves around. Okay, just want to remember where those lines are so we're just going to put them back in place so we'll fiddle with them Oof, I get a little bit more water on my brush it's drying out okay I, I love the mechanicalness of the of the tire treads against the sort of organic snow and yeah it's really a pretty combination it's interesting and okay so what do you think so far are we getting there Is it looking like snow to you bring that in cover that over and then I'm going to bring in the light because there is some light there and I want to bring in some of that light so that we can see where that those angles are and I'm just going to quickly snap them in place Okay, so we've got the tire treads and, and we can put the darkness on the other side of those just to get that sort of information going because each one of these is, is um, is casting a shadow. There we go. 
And there's another cast of a shadow. Again, I'm going to come in and clean up and make sure that there are no ridges because I don't want any ridges on my paint at all. And acrylic dries so quickly that you have to do that. Okay, so let's move down. And let's get these tracks in place. We can see where they are in comparison. So I want to bring this a little bit lighter as we move forward so that the road, I know that in the picture it's not, but you know, that's what painting is, is doing artwork, is making decisions different than what you're seeing in your picture sometimes. So that it sort of blends a little bit and it doesn't, yeah. And then we come down to the lightest part down here. Let's spritz my stuff again. When you first start painting with acrylic, that's what you forget. With watercolor, you just rehydrate with water. But as soon as you start with acrylic, you have to remember to come in and Spritz your paint to keep it fresh for as long as possible. And just filling this in. Okay. So you're seeing that it's starting to take a little shape in terms of the, you know, I'm covering better and it's getting better. We have about 15 minutes left in our live on this first live stream of that I am doing. I'm so glad you guys could make it. Okay, about there. I'm gonna place some of these in place. Thinking about that angle. Where is that angle? Now you get to see how wrong I get it because you can see the image at the same time. <laughs> yeah, it's a, a dance of what's the angle, what's the value, where do I want to go with it? And it just, yes, it dances along. And I just took my brush and I dried it and I just sort of erased and, and softened what I had done so that I could get that angle more correct. And I'm standing back and looking at it. And I see that there's a little darkness here. So let's, let's get this dark in because that helps us with our angles. Just get that shape in. And what I see is, am I, I've got this one too high. I'm gonna have to bring them down. Nope, maybe I just got my angle not sufficient. Okay, no, that's just, it's better there. Okay, get that angle in place, stand back and look at it. It's way too thick, but that's fine. We'll fix that in the, in the next round. Just soften that out and get it into the right place. Remove some of that XX paint because I don't want a ridge there. Okay. That gives us a fighting chance there. Okay. Slowly but surely building up. A little bit more blue in there, a little bit darker value. Okay. Okay, now let's go in here. I'm going to get a smaller brush, my flat brush from earlier, the Princeton 
3600F Dakota. And I'm going to put this in place. It's way too dark, but that's all right. We're, we're just getting things in place. Thinking about the shapes that I'm seeing. And there. Soften that edge because it's snow. So I come, I clean my brush, I dry it off, and then I just come in and touch it with the the edge of the brush to soften it and there. Okay, so it's coming. Okay, so let's go back over here, over to this corner that's the lighter. And I think I'm gonna be putting in that yellow here just so that we can see that it brings some lightness to it. It makes it feel like it's glowing when it's that yellow. What do you think? We're going to put some of that yellow here on this side of each of these just to give that sunshine is shining on the snow look. And it's a very subtle color. You're not seeing yellow. You're just seeing a very low chroma yellow. I've, I've, brought it down with a little bit of um, a little bit of gray to, to get it so that it's still yellow but it's not as bright as when I started. And that's this yellow ochre. Most the three colors I'm working with on this it, well is white, uh, a gray scale, ultramarine blue, um, a little bit of dioxin purple, just a touch of purple, and I haven't even started to add that in yet. And um, the red is that I'm just going to put along the trail end here, just so it looks pink, is cad red medium. And we're going to come and just touch it along to give it some interesting variations. There we go. And we're going to use some of those colors on the bird as well because they're all in the same light. Get a little bit more of this yellow. Hi, Wendy. Welcome. I'm so glad you could join us today. See if I can read this and, and think about painting at the same time. This is like skill building, I'll tell you. Okay. Oh yeah, it takes forever to do paintings. It's one of those things that uh, you think, oh, it'll go way faster than it ever does. Yeah, painting is not a fast thing. Well, at least in my world, it's not fast. So this is where that glow is. The, the, the light is bouncing off of the ptarmigan and reflecting back onto the ground and so I just want to create that illusion of that glow and by adding that yellow in. Now that glow is right here. It's not happening back here at all. I can see that it's not happening. So we'll just put some more snow in place here and here. Yeah, we've got subtle variations happening in here that that I can add in right now and we'll add more in as I go along. Oh, hi, Niagara Falls. Oh, so what flowers do you have blooming right now? Oh, well, you probably have birds there if you're a birder. I also do watercolors, Wendy. So that's what we were talking about a little earlier is that I plan to do watercolor live streams as well, but I have a little technological advancement skills that I have to create figure out first. Okay, so now let's get back onto the bird. I think that we've done a second cover. Oh, I guess a little bit more here. I'll just take some of this. At some point, I'm, I don't have it yet, and I'm not even sure, you know, it's just going to take some time. My, my plan is to have a camera that will um, 
also show you my palette so you can see me mixing colors but that's going to take me a little time to to be able to get together and get that sorted out i've been working towards these live streams for quite a, a couple years by buying just as i have the the money after a show buying things working towards it and uh, I did get some seed funding to help with getting the laptop because that turned out to be, I needed a little help for that. So I appreciate the, the government of the Northwest Territories and all the support they give all of us artists when we're, we're branching out and growing and, and um, learning and doing new things and need some help with getting supplies to help us be successful. Okay, we're right down to just about six minutes left in this first live stream. And we'll get to where we get to and then, yeah. So right here on the bird, what I'm doing is I'm adding a little bit of that yellow in where the light is striking and creating sort of that brighter look to it. I have to get a smaller brush now. It's to the point where I need a smaller brush. Maybe I need to change too. So this is a number two Ivory Egbert and they're out of um, England. I get them from Rosemary and Company. And I love the fact I hold my paintbrush really far back and I love that the long bristles on this and I use these often because it helps me to shape things and form and just sort of tickle the edge till I get to where I want it to be. Okay. Let's add some blue and get this moving around as it goes away from the light. Boy, this hour has gone really fast. I hope it's gone fast for you. Hey, Melissa, welcome. How is it down in Louisiana? Is it warm? I'm sure your temperature is fabulous, actually. It was minus 10 here this morning, Melissa. Okay, I'm just building up the bird and we're almost out of time. So I'm going to wind it up here shortly, just in a minute or two. Um, ooh, got the paintbrush into the paint. Uh, here, let's do that. And then we can wind it up and I can tell you what I'm going to do in preparation for next Tuesday. I want it to be normally on on Thursdays, but lot, next week I have something that came up Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So I'm going to have to move this to Tuesday next week. I'll put announcements up. Oh, plus 35. Oh, yes. Even Alexander in, in Sydney is not that warm because it's winter there. So what flowers are in bloom, Melissa? We're all just like living vicariously by people who live in warmer climes now. You miss the snow. Yeah, I'd like to miss the snow. It hasn't quite gone yet. I'm looking forward to missing the snow. Okay, we're going to stop right there, right where we're at.
working now again. Okay. Oh. Okay, there we go. We've got the camera back and working. Well, I think this is the place we're going to stop because our time is almost done. It's just a couple more minutes and and I've gotten a pretty good layout here. I think what I'm going to do before next Tuesday is I'm going to finalize um, a couple little areas so that you can see where I'm going and it won't, you know, maybe I'll only take two streams to do this instead of three. We'll wait and see. I have no idea. Um, so maybe the next time what we'll do is we'll get all the background done. I'll do a little bit to get us a, get me going. And then we'll work on the bird. And, and the bird is not that complex. So it shouldn't take that long to do. But I want to thank you very much for joining me today. And uh, all your comments and... Uh, yeah, it's, it's been a great day. So thank you very much. And I'll see you next Tuesday at 2 p.m. Mountain to finish this little painting. It will be put on auction on eBay, but I have to learn how to do that too. <laughs> After it's final finished and I sign it, then I will put that out here on Facebook. And I will hopefully by next Tuesday have a way for you to sign up for uh, an email to come to remind you with the link and everything. But that's for another day. Okay, have a great day. Bye. <laughs>